What's the worst injury you got from masturbating? Pulled the muscle between my shoulder blades and neck. Got him speedy gonzales over here. FTFY. Speedy comes ales. Foot cramp. You know that one where you consider amputation for a brief second. I love when this happens, right while I orgasm, because it makes the orgasm last really long somehow. Those are called charlie horses I think. I got one during a blowjob right as I was coming. The feeling of pure pleasure mixed with pure pain. Pure pleasure mixed with pure pain. Sounds like a good time. Not exactly an injury, but the first time I was unaware of the whole becoming sensitive after coming thing, so I was panicking thinking I broke my dick. On top of that I must have had a little cum dry over the urethra, because I had my first split stream piss afterwards and panicked again. This is the only way to miss the toilet. This is the way. Jacked it too much at one time, and got scared, when I started producing zero cum. A little white flag that says bang, popped out of your urethra like the joker's gun in a batman cartoon. Or a blast of confetti, symbolizing that you've reached the finish line. Or just a wheeze cough sound effect, or the minecraft death sound. I was too shy to buy a vibrator, while I lived in a dorm with someone else, and saw somewhere, that you could use an electric toothbrush for basically the same very fast vibrating function. So I kept it in my shower caddy, and used it when I showered, except taking the head off, so it's just a vibrating stick of metal wasn't great. But pro tip, your labia minora is not meant to withstand a thorough brushing from an electric toothbrush. Nothing too bad. Just blood and tenderness. But I just stuck with fingers after that. Turn the brush around. Use the smooth side of the brush head. Have a dedicated brush head with the bristles shaved off. I was jacking it while lying in the tub as a teenager. Shower was running and I felt like a warm rain wank. A razor had fallen on the floor of the tub and I was inadvertently lying on it. It was a three blade razor and it sliced into my back. I bled like a stuck pig and I have a scar on the small of my back about the size of a piece of trident gum from that bad boy. Thank god you didn't say the razor blade shredded your dick or something. Good god I do not want to imagine that. Yeah I didn't want to imagine that either. So thanks for ducking, putting it in my head ya yeah, jerk. That's what I do. I imagined it for ya, yeah, so you didn't have to come up with it yourself. But when people talk, or I read something. I instantly imagine it. A curse? Perhaps. However, you couldn't have known that. You couldn't know I would imagine this naked man sitting in a shower with water cascading on him as his brain begins drifting off into a blissful state of erotic thought. When all of a sudden the razor falls as he begins to stroke. Catching into his grip. A quick thrust and. This man has flayed his own penis. My god. But you couldn't have known that. I ripped off two layers of skin on the whole shaft. A a a a a a a a a a dies in imagined pain. D Weird story. I think I was around 13 over 14 and extremely horny. So my dumbass thought what if I heated up two spoons and use them to stroke myself? I put the spoons on around the dick and I got some severe burn marks that still show up to this day. Ever feel like wanting to not have read something? It makes you wonder what is going on inside their head. Pulled my back muscle when, putting pants back on. Cold and exercise for 3 months afterward. You freed up more time to masturbate, lol. That counts as exercise, if you do it right. Broken ribs and notes, when I crashed my car on the Vinegar Stokes. Hol up. R slash harlem. R slash harlp. R slash ho. I did it 4 times in one night the next morning my back was sore and the front part of my ballsack had a small bruise. Not my proudest moment. You literally beat your meat. I did I quite literally abused my meat. My post nut clarity made me realize I needed to change the oil in my car. I did so. I forgot to chock the wheel off. And I ended up having the car roll back over my foot and broke it. I'm honestly at a loss for words. This is just an all around world story. Crippling depression. I feel this is a chicken and egg question. What came first? Poor nor crippling depression. We may never know. The crippling dispression of course. Because without a human there can't be born. And if you were the only human on earth. 
you'd be lonely and therefore depressed. If you were the only human on earth it would be normal, and you would not know what company is. Therefore happy. I mean other animals would still exist. This post must be the turning point, to convince me to stop masturbating. Ma Broke my wrist, when I fell of the toilet. So many questions. So many possible strange answers. Internal scratches. Being a young and dumb isn't easy. I've always wondered if women have trouble doing that because having long nails. Yes, we do. One time, I was polishing my nightstick when suddenly, I hit my balls with so much force that I cold knocked someone out. It hurt for days, but I'm pretty sure I'm fine. Polishing my nightstick that's a new sentence to me. Plot twist. He has an actual nightstick for a peen. LAPD problems. Arthritis and after getting a little older the climax high isn't as attainable. Due to not spending 4, 8 hours edging almost daily. Same. Orgasms used to feel amazing. And my blood would be throbbing all over my body. Like waves of pleasure washing over me. Now orgasms feels like a small muscle spasm in my uterus. I wish I didn't learn how to orgasm so soon. Wait how intense was the nut compared to your 200th nut? My first few orgasms felt comparable to a small C. Current orgasms feel comparable to a puddle. The kind that builds up over a rain, gutted covered in leaves. Got a UT. Vagina possessor. Don't set the water to hot while having fun with the shower head. Does water temperature affect your chances of a UT? I would say yes, if you use burning hot water like I did. Normal hot should be okay. Scratched my clit open a little. Labia makes the Windows 7 shutdown sound. Scratched the shaft. Torn frenulum. Gah. Aj her royal highness doofu that had to hurt. Sigh. I have a good one and an on eyewitnesses to prove it. I was in the shower using my removable shower head for pleasure. It feels good when it's on the jet string and gives me intense gasms that hands and tongues can't even come close to this incident. My dumbass decided to stand up to do this rather than sit down like I normally do. Bear in mind my shower is tiny. I can fit myself and I barely have enough room to move around to shave. Let alone masturbate. I'm just doing my thing. And finally I climax and my leg gives out. I start to fall and my life flashes before my eyes. Instinctually my arms flail and I spray myself in the face with my shower head which is on full jet setting, and I have amazing water pressure. All of this happens within 0. 2 seconds. I manage to catch myself before falling, but am stunned from the adrenaline from the near fall plus the blast of water to the face, combined with the feel goodness of an intense orgasm. I turn my water off, get out of the shower, and go to bed without even bothering with clothes. After I lied down, I noticed my leg is hurting. So I'm like okay, I'm a weak ass bitch I guess and take some Advil and go to sleep. The problem didn't stop. My leg still hurt after a few days and sometimes it went completely numb. I called my mom, who has worked in the medical field for 20 plus years, a few days after it happened. And told her I almost slipped in the shower and might hurt my leg. And told her my leg was numb sometimes. She told me I have inflamed my sciatic nerve and if it doesn't go away then to go to the doctor. Fortunately, it let up eventually. It sucked to sit BC all I do for work is sit in front of a computer. I was miserable for weeks BC I thought with my vagina, rather than my brain. I always sit when I rub one out in the shower now. Holy shit a similar thing happened to me. When I lived at home I usually used the downstairs shower as it was quicker, plus good water pressure. This shower was literally a box. So I'm enjoying some me time. One leg up one leg down. And I'm almost there when I slipped. Fell through the shower door. And crashed onto the floor. Water everywhere. Had a massive scratch on the side of my leg. And got a huge bump on the head. Had to rearrange my hair to try. And hide it for work. Rug burns. Been there one too many times. Dangers of an overactive sex drive. And not caring about lube. Doctors still don't know, was having issues with overexerting myself and getting instant ringing migraines that would floor me, having a pretty solid go at the old wiener one afternoon. 
probably 15 yo, and as I busted I passed out. Woke up on the floor, pants down. Come all over me, and my mom shouting at Thwazam are you upstairs? Holy Christ. Dude. The migraine thing happens to me still sometimes. Every few years, since I was maybe 16 my head will explode with a horrible migraine right when I come. It lasts about a month, and then goes away for a couple years. Ducking sucks. Dude not that it's at all relevant now. But I straight up told my mom, and after hearing Jesus Christ take this child for an hour she called our doctor. He told us to go to a chiropractor. Within 2, 4 minute sessions cranking my neck it was gone. Literally never again. Had a solid 10 year Olympic lifting career after that. I tell this story to everyone. I tried to see how many times I could masturbate in one day. My bag was so ducking sore. Went blind in one eye. What what how? A stray sperm shot up and hit me directly in my cornea at about 25 miles per hour. I had a grip on the tip when I ejaculated. You know how, if you squeeze the tip of a hose it increases the water pressure? Same concept with my dick. Shot right in my eye. Now I'm terrified of jerking off. Just wear safety goggles and you'll be fine. Got a cut at the part where your dickhead opening ends. Same but I started squirting blood from my bone and nearly passed out and started crying. Ripped my penile for a new Lamaca banjo string. The pain. The blood. O to be 13. Reminds me of the time I had an ingrown pube and literally had to dig into my skin to pull it out. It didn't help that there were two. Two dicks. Hey, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.